I've done a terrible thing here. It was my command. I was in charge. And now Charlie's dead. You know, he came here scared of his own shadow. Homesick. He used to cry himself to sleep at night. I was willing to bet he wouldn't even last the first week of orientation. He'd call out, right face. <laughs> He'd go the other direction. <laughs> and by Thanksgiving, he was calling Cadence. Never took a hit in inspection. He turned out to be a tough little kid. Always eager to please. That plebe year is a tough year. Some people like Charlie thrive on it. I did. I thrived on it. I don't know why anymore. Now I was thinking back to when he and I were playing basketball one-on-one -on -one during the winter, you know? And it was so cold, it hurt to breathe, you know? And you couldn't even feel your hands. There weren't any nets on the hoops. So <laughs> we were always arguing that the other shot didn't go in. <laughs> we were just laughing and acting crazy. <laughs> it was so dark, you couldn't even see the ball against the backboard. I love that feeling. It's going to hurt like hell to have to leave it all behind. Well, they just words, Alex. Honor. Duty. Country. I loved that man. Being in his presence made me feel privileged. But there had to be something missing in all that he taught us, or this wouldn't have happened. When I was kneeling down next to Charlie, I tried to find some justification. But honor doesn't count for shit when you're staring at a dead little boy. You don't think of names in the Book of Remembrance or Bugles or 21 gun salutes or flags. All you think about is what a neat little kid he was and how much you're going to miss him.